Thank you. Uh, can we start by having you both tell us a little bit about your character? Sure. You want to go first? You want me to go first? I play Mona Foster, William Foster's wife. And in the course of this, you know, very happy story that they're living through, a tragedy strikes. And it puts William, my husband, in the position of, can I say it? Yeah. Of bringing us back to life because he's got the technical capabilities to do so. And then it, it goes over to his moral quandary around whether that should or could be allowed. And then my character is has to face the idea of being brought back to life and being a replica and what that means and what that feels like. And I play William Foster, um, your husband. Yeah. <laughs> and father of our children. Three. And a scientist. And yeah, so I have a, I'm working with a technology to transfer consciousness into um, robots or an android. But my family dies, and I end up trying to take that technology and transfer it and try and bring my family back through cloning. Um, so I guess it's about, it's kind of an adventure story about a family, in a way. And then I also work for a company that wants the technology that's in my head. And so there's a conflict of interest between what we want to do in the lives we want to live and how we want to be controlled or how the my knowledge wants to be stolen and controlled. Right. So this movie pretty much covers the aspect of going against the cycle of life. Um, um, in a way. A traditional <laughs> interpretation right. of a cycle of life. Um, so how do you feel when it comes to science, like going far with like cloning in this case? I mean, they're already doing it with pets. I mean, people are paying like 50K. To get their dog to Yeah, balance. exactly. Yeah, and so when you said the cycle of life, you were saying that there's an omission of death. Right. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think it, the, the film is really kind of asking, what you just asked us, the film is asking everybody. Um, where do you land on that? Um, it's a good point. There is an element where William plays God. I think that, um, but, you know, the, the amount of times that we play God every day, probably could be measured too. I mean, choices we make affect people's lives all the time. And so it's kind of a little bit more of an existential question, but yeah, we're getting to the point where modern medicine does interrupt the cycle of life. We're really already living that, you know? I think we're in a place where we are keeping ourselves alive longer than maybe we would have been 100 years ago or 200 years ago. All right, and to finalize, quick question for you, if you can say anything about Toy Story. Sure. Um, I've been invited to play for Toy Story 4, and I, um, which was uh, was is really fun and uh, really cool. Um, that's cool. Thank you. And it's a great <laughs> character, and it's a fun character, and um, I'm still working on it. But um, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Okay. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing. Thank you. You voice animation, right? Yeah. <laughs>